Hey, what's up, you guys? It's the Lime Pixie. It's day 16. I didn't post a video yesterday because I was kind of exhausted and I was just um, overwhelmed with working and then trying to do a video and it just it wasn't coming together. So today is video um, 15 and 16 for my 90-day mission and Basically, I just, you know, want to talk to you guys a little bit about how important nutrition is for um, dealing with chronic illness and Lyme disease and healing the body. And I just like, I love nutrition. I'm more passionate about it than I ever have. I get super excited about eating foods that are really good for me. And I don't want to eat any junk food anymore. I don't even crave it after being vegan and gluten-free, GMO-free and organic for seven months now. So, um, I, over the last three years of being sick, I've done a lot of different diets. I went and I did, um, initially the Lyme diet, which is no, uh, gluten, no sugar and no dairy. I did that for six months and then I switched and I started doing paleo and I did paleo for like a year. And then after that, I kind of switched to just eating like whatever, not even really being strict at all with my diet because I thought I almost had Lyme disease kicked, but I didn't. You know, this bacteria hides in your body and I ended up getting really, really sick again. And then when I was really sick and doing a lot of antibiotics, I even had just a hard time um, eating. So when I started going into the realm of um, veganism, I ate a lot of vegan diets, but I wasn't super strict with it until about seven months ago. And it's really transformed my life. I mean, it's made me so passionate about health and about nutrition. I've learned so much. And I also just, I feel so much better and I feel so alive. And even doing the Gerson therapy for four weeks where I was, it's still a vegan diet and then I juiced um, 10 times a day. I mean, that was amazing. It was a lot of work and I really feel like it did so much for my body, but you know, at the same time, like I just, I felt like I didn't need to be doing something that aggressive and I, you know, just felt like I could just juice and then eat vegan and I would still be really supporting my immune system. But I did do it for four weeks and I loved it. And even now I would, I would do it again, you know, for another four weeks just to flush my body out. But um, I initially wanted to stick with it. I was like, I'm going to do this for a year. And, um, the part of that was to support my husband because he didn't want to go to the treatment center that I went to. So we were going to try and do nutrition to, um, heal his body from the bacteria because he was basically a carrier of the bacteria. And, um, you know, after two and a half weeks of him being on the Gerson therapy, he just like snapped and he was like, I can't, there's no fucking way I can do this anymore. And he just lost it. So I was like, well, go to the treatment center, you know, like, let's just go do the pushes. And he did, he did the pushes for three weeks. Um, the mitochondrial, um, seaweed treatment, which is from blue green algae. And he got better and he got the bacteria out of his system. So you know, right now we're both in remission and we're super stoked, but he's still eating really clean. He didn't go back to eating a bunch of like junk food. He used to really have a huge sugar tooth. So he's still really trying to get his body strong. And he did lose a lot of muscle, you know, over the last year, just from getting Lyme and having the bacteria kind of take his body over. So he's really trying to keep his nutrition up and eat really clean and also gain muscle weight back by doing a lot of protein and carbs. So, you know, basically like I'm passionate about nutrition because I've seen, I played with my diet so many times and I've seen whoop, the way it affects me and, um, what makes me feel the best. And I talked to so many different limeys over the course of the last year who are in remission and feeling really good. And most of them either eat raw or vegan. So to me, a big light went off in my head, like, okay, that's a sign. And a lot of them juice as well. So, um, I'm so passionate about it. I think that I will be super passionate about nutrition for the rest of my life and, um, be excited about foods that actually heal me rather than harm me. So over the next couple 
weeks, you know, I'm going to be talking to you guys about some focused stuff, but the next week is going to be mostly on nutrition. So I'll talk about superfoods that I really like. I'll show you guys different meals that I, that are quick and easy. Um, I'll talk to you about antioxidants and mama. Hi, Annie. This is Annie. Annie, say hi. Say hi. Annie. Hi. This is my baby. I've had her for almost 11 years. She is a little cutie. I love my animals. So, uh, let's see. What else? Basically, um, another thing that I think is super, super important is eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then snacking. So, always being prepared. Like, if you're traveling, bring a cooler with you with all that healthy food, and try and, you know, shop at, like, organic food stores, um, food stores that are health, healthy health food stores, I guess, like uh, Whole Foods. Trader Joe's, you can get a lot of good stuff, but you have to be careful because there's a lot of stuff that's not organic or GMO-free, which I'm a firm believer in. Um, I really think that when you eat GMO foods or non-organic, you're just putting a bunch of chemicals back into your immune system and to your body, and it makes it that much harder to be really healthy. So... Uh, yeah, just focus on eating clean and eating, um, like, every few hours, doing that breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And, again, the most important meal of the day is definitely breakfast to get that body going. And um, another thing with nutrition is probiotics all day. And you can um, do it a, a lot of different ways. You can get fermented drinks. You can take fermented um like you can even do some fermented like pickled things and then um you also can take capsules of probiotics so um anyway i know that because i'm a vegan it jump started my healing and uh, really helped me so a lot of people are afraid to go into that realm of eating vegan but i think everybody should give it a try because it's definitely worth it and you'll see the results of being vegan and eating super clean and um i'm passionate about um animals as well so I don't know, it just, it works really well for me, and I'm in remission, so um, I don't think I would be here as quickly if I wasn't eating so clean. Um, I don't think that my body would have responded as well to all this treatment, so anyway, health, nutrition, veganism, the V, yeah, that kind of V, the veganism is, is awesome. Vegan vegetarianism, I think, is the way to go with this disease, but... I don't know. You're going to have to figure it out yourself. And I did. So anyway, um, I will be in touch uh, again day by day here for the next 90 days. Anyway, take care. Hope everybody's well.